All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to hook your Joy-Con controllers up to your Windows PC using Rewazd as your driver. If you're unfamiliar with Rewazd, it does a bunch of different game controllers and connects them to your computer so you can remap them however you like. The one kind of downside is, as far as drivers goes, it's got kind of a steep price point where they want you to spend. $15 for a three month subscription, or if you want to buy it for like a lifetime subscription, you want to, they want you to spend like $70. Uh, so that can be kind of steep, especially when other stuff like Steam does it for free. So, with that in mind, uh, if you want to try it out, they do have a free trial. Download it, install it, and we will move on to step two after you restart your computer. So, once you've restarted your computer, you'll be met with a screen that looks basically like this, where you see whatever is already connected to your computer. I've got my keyboard, my mouse, and my Wacom tablet stuff. Uh, so now we just need to connect our controllers. So you can't really plug these into your PC, or at least not in a reliable way for most people. So grab, we're going to start with the left Joy-Con. Grab your Joy-Cons, and then open up your Windows Bluetooth settings. And we're going to start by clicking on and pressing and hold. Uh, let's start the section over. So once you're done restarting your computer, you'll see a screen that looks a lot like this. And now we just need to connect our Joy-Con controllers to our PC using Bluetooth. So open up your Windows Bluetooth settings, grab your controllers. I'm going to start with the left one. And on the little rail that slides into your switch, there is a circular button next to the lights that light up to let you know which uh, player this particular controller belongs to. Press and hold on that until the lights dance. Once they do, you can click on this button at the top of the Bluetooth settings screen to add a Bluetooth device, and then in this pop-up, click Bluetooth. You should see Joy-Con L, that's Joy-Con left, go ahead and click on it, and that will automatically pair that bad boy. And then you'll hear a bunch of dinging noises and maybe a couple pop-ups will happen where it'll tell you what this current status is of the device that you just plugged in. From there, we're gonna do the right Joy-Con, same thing, press and hold the circular button on the power rail until it starts to dance with the lights and then click on add Bluetooth or other device, click Bluetooth, and then you should see Joy-Con R. Once you do, both Joy-Cons will be fully set up and connected to your PC. All right, so now you've got both of your Joy-Cons paired to your computer, and they're connected with Bluetooth, and they'll show up here at the bottom of the Rewaz screen as two independent devices. And when you click on them, they'll vibrate. Um, that's good. That's a good start. But they're currently behaving as if they're two separate devices, and we want them to behave as one singular device. So to fix that, we're going to click on the left one, and we're going to hit group, and then we're going to group that device with the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con right and click close. Now, this is being treated as one singular controller. And you should be good to go. Uh, this is going to allow you to play different games as if this is just a generic Xbox controller, now that it's all connected and set up. Uh, you can also do things like create custom profiles for your games where, like if you boot up a specific game, it'll use a specific set of key bindings versus another set of key bindings. Uh, to do that, all you have to do is add a game or profile here at the top. I've got Abiotic Factor running in the background, just as an example. Uh, so when you hit add a game profile, you can call this like Abiotic Joy-Cons. And then you can add an active process to this. In this case, Abiotic Factor, I'll add those. And click add. And now I can just rebind whatever buttons I want. I can either click on them on the controller to rebind them. And I'm going to say this little minus button, I'm going to remap this to E for my inventory. And then plus I'm going to remap to X for my stats. 
And then the home button, I'm gonna do C for crafting. And just like that, you can quickly and easily rebind all the buttons. Uh, you can also just uh, click here and go through the entire pull down list of buttons that are available. You can pretty much rebind it to any uh, generic controller input or keyboard or mouse input that is connected to your computer. You can also use it to bring up a crosshair as well. So you've got a whole bunch of different options here. You can also just click on them, either on your mouse or your keyboard to bind them if you want as well. And you can rebind any button on here, even these little side buttons on the sides of the, each controller are available, as well as the back here, the back triggers, the top triggers. You can change the virtual mouse sensitivity. You can change the vibration sensitivity, all that stuff you can adjust. And when you're happy with it, you can just click the save a floppy disk icon in the upper left corner here and you're done. Whenever you play Abiotic Factory, that would be your settings. Uh, and yeah, that's basically all you need to do to get this to work is just plug it in and group them and you're good to go. Setting up custom profiles is a cool feature. You can get really in depth with this and make custom button layouts for literally everything. Uh, I don't really need to do that personally. Um, the default's good enough for me, so I'm going to delete this profile I just made. Uh, but yeah, so that's Rewaz connecting your Joy-Cons. Simple and straightforward. It's just a plug-and-play situation. Download the software, install it, connect your controller, and you're good. So that'll be it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.